اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربش رحلی صدری و یسلی عمری و حلل اقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنی علم السلام علیکم دیس زکاری محمد قاسم علمی فروم الفرکان الحکیم اکیڈمی لاہور پاکستان my dear students, my dear viewers and my dear respected teachers I am making this video for you those who want to teach the Holy Quran all over the world in English or Urdu I will use short sentences okay and I will tell you that uh, how to teach, how to speak in English and inshallah I will tell you a uh, few tricks, tips and a way of teaching methodology. Please watch this video completely till to end and inshallah you will get the high wisdom of the Holy Quran and the way of teaching methodology also so we are going on laptop screen for learning new things let's see a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim aw qasayyibin minas samaa'i fihi ظلمات و رعد و برق يجعلون أصابعهم في آذانهم من الصواعق حذر الموت والله محيط بالكافرين آر the analogy of the hypocrites is like pouring rain from the sky accompanied by a gentle deal of darkness as well as thunder and lightning of fear of death they those caught in the storm push their fingers in their ears because of the frightening sound of the thunder in and efforts to keep out the sound similar is the condition of the hypocrites who try not to hear the verses of the Quran that condemn kufr and the which contain warning and clear proof they regards these to be darkness thunder and lightning fearing that if they listen to all of it, it will result in the death of their own religion within themselves. However, they are unable to silence the deen of Allah despite their efforts. After all, Allah encompasses the kafirun. Allah surrounds them completely regardless of what plan of Allah they chose. Allah has complete knowledge of the everything they do and He has complete power over them. They cannot escape Him. وَإِذَا أَظْلَمَ عَلَيْهِمْ قَامُوا وَلَوْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَذَهَبَ بِسَمْعِهِمْ وَأَبْسْطَارِهِمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ Soon the lightning, the clear proofs of the Qur'an may take away their eyesight. It may awaken their sleeping hearts by removing the blindness of their spiritual eyes. Whenever it 
the lightning lights up the way for them they walk in it in its light but when darkness overcomes them they stand still whenever they hear something that appeals to them they accept but no sooner do they hear something they do not like then they reject it if allah wills he could even take away their physical abilities of hearing and seeing just as he took away their spiritual eyes and ears verily allah has control over all things ya ayyuhan nasu abudu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum walladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun o people worship only your rabb who has created you and who has created those before you so that by worshiping him you may develop taqwa piety alladhi ja'ala lakumul arda firashan wasamaa binaan wa anzala minas samaa'i ma fa akhraja bihi min thamarati rizqan lakum fala taj'alu lillahi adadan wa antum ta'lamun worship your rabb who has made the earth a bedding for you which is neither too hard nor too soft the sky a roof and has sent water for you from the sky using it the water to bring forth fruits all the types of foods for your sustenance so never make other equal partner to allah in worship when you know that they cannot create as allah creates and therefore do not deserve to be worshiped wa aqtum fi arai bim mim ma nazzalna ala abadina fa tu bi suratim mim mithli wa da'u shuhada'akum min dunillahi in kuntum sadiqin if you are in doubt about what we have revealed to our bondsmen if you doubt that the quran which was revealed to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam is from allah then produce even a single surah like any in the quran something that can match the eloquence the beauty the style and the prophecies of the quran and you are also at liberty to call your witnesses your helpers and details beside allah if you are truthful stand up to this challenge if you feel that you are truthful in your claim that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was the author of the quran if your claim is correct you will easily be able to compose something equal if not superior because muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was an untutored person sadaqallahu alazim 
Karim. May Allah keep you always happy and succeed you in Deen of Dunya and Akhira. May Allah show you the straight path, Sirat Mustaqim. And may Allah make your ulad, your kids, your children, the noor of your eyes. Ameen. Pakistan, Zindabad. Allah Hafiz.